Previously on Lincoln Creek. Jake, nice to meet you. Uh, Grant, nice to meet you is not my name. My name's Grant. But I'm uh, new to town starting a farm here, actually. We're going to have to get us a lot of uh, equipment here if we're going to run a co-op. We got the keys to our new house now. Now, this old house really isn't all that bad. It could just use a little fixing up and but we're bulldozing it and we're going to build a different one. And there it is. That is a big difference. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come on, or I'll be gone. Or in rain. What a shower. All right, we better get up to work. We're running a little behind. Grab some coffee before we roll here, and we've got no time for anything else. Make sure we lock up the house. All right, let's get on up to work, shall we? So today, we are going to be working on a lot of stuff up at the co-op. We've got a few new pieces of equipment at the co-op, as well as some old stuff that we found sitting around there. I do still want to talk to Case and John Deere and see who will give us a better deal for a contract, but we haven't gotten around to that yet. So for today, we're just going to have to get by with what we have, but that will be all right. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you get a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more. If we hit 150,000 subscribers by November 22nd, then I will give away 10 copies of Farming Sim 22 for free. Ah, uh, this road's technically sort of a one-way. Oh, and there's, there's why you don't go down this road. It's not officially a one-way, but the cars drive down the middle of it, and it makes it hard to drive down. So it's better just to come from the other direction, but sometimes I'm a little lazy. Either way, we've made it here, and I still don't really know where to park my truck, so we're going to park it over by the trailers. And I suppose while we have our morning coffee, we'll just walk around, do our morning checks on things, and uh, we'll get everything unlocked and good to go. Oh, looks like somebody's pulling into the co-op, so we better go out and talk to them, huh? I guess put the coffee down. Time to do my job here. Oh, hey, Jake. Hey, how's it going, Ben? Pretty good. How are you doing today, man? Oh, doing all right. Just having some morning coffee. Oh, absolutely. I uh, I had some go-go juice at the house this morning while I was uh, looking at the uh, the old co-op website, and, uh, well, I had to stop at Casey's get some more. Oh, I did I get it. I still haven't had enough myself. <laughs> Well, it's time to wake up, baby. We got stuff to do, man. Oh, uh, what can I do you for? All right, so I see we got an order of Stein, Order, order of Agrigold, Prairie, and Decalb. So that's four units total of seed and, uh, and then fertilizer. You got two units on that. Yes, sir. And looks like you also ordered uh, a load of fuel. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I ordered that diesel fuel as well. All right, All right, King. Yep, there it is. You got two bags right over here. All right, sounds good. I'll let you go ahead and load that, and I'm going to go over, and I'm going to pull a uh, tender over this way to get the seed boxes all ready to go and load it up. All right, copy that. Hey, one last thing, too. Uh, you guys got lime here as well, right? We do, yeah. We got lime, and we also have lime spreaders. I kind of got to get lime knocked out on all my fields. Is there any way I could rent one as well as have you guys help me on it? Yeah, absolutely. You can rent one out and also have us do a custom as well. Awesome. Thank you, Jake. All right. Thank you. Woo. Got a whole lot of business coming in. All right. Let's get this opened up. And then I suppose we might as well get some lime stuff ready to go here as well. Now, I want to watch where he might be. There he is right there. I'll wait for him to go. There we go. Let's get on over here and get the seed tender. All right. Four ways on, and we're going to take the first one in line right here. Anybody coming? Yes, but they can wait. Try and back up that trailer hitch as best we can here. There we go. Got it hooked up. Put the tailgate up as well. Now we just got to get on over there, and uh, we will put it full of seed. I'm going to pull this up next to the repair shop first, just to make sure the lights are all working on it here. That's working, 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 working. We're all good. I already know the hydraulics are all fine, everything like that, so we should be good to go. We'll let him get loaded up pulled on out of here before i pull up there and start doing my work all right he pulled on out of here now we can pull around and get these boxes loaded up well let's fire up the old bobcat here pick up the forks and we're gonna see let's hop out real quick before we do anything else we need one decal 
one stein, one prairie, and one agrigold. So one here, one here, one here, one here. That ought to be fine. And let's see if we can line that right on up and get it picked up here. Look at that skill. Right on off the back. Woo, a little much. Perfect. All right, let's get this thing loaded up. Now, we've already got these loaded with seed. This is a climate-controlled uh, building here. So we should be able to just pull right on up here and get these put onto this. All right, there we go. Got them all put up onto the tender. We're going to put the bobcat away, and then I'm going to double-check the boxes and make sure I got them right. So just running back over here, do a final check. Got Stein, got Agrigold, and we got... Prairie and decalb. Those are the orders. Fantastic. So let's just take this and we are going to put this back into our little climate control building here. So we'll drop that off there. We'll close these back up and we'll have to tell him that uh, that's where his stuff can be found. Now we need to get hooked up to this fuel trailer because one of the last things that he has ordered from us is a load of fuel delivered to his farm. So we've got to get that hooked up and hold down to him. So we'll hook up to our trailer trailer here and uh, we'll hit the road all right we're pulling on in here maybe I i'm not gonna make that turn we'll have to try that one again i will have to admit i was not ready for this uh complicated of a turn there's stuff on both sides of the driveway i didn't want to take out his mailbox which i absolutely was about to do but we made it down here to king's farm we're gonna get his fuel figured out for him so step number one i gotta figure out where his fuel is i guess it's down by the shop uh where he fixes and stores equipment and oh his shop is maybe right here because that would be the fuel oh it's right on a bit of a bump all right king interesting barrel placement we are gonna have to back up a hillside here so nice and easy up the hillside let's get this thing in optimal position to fuel them up without tipping it or anything well, looks like King just got here, and I'm in his way a little bit. All right, we're uh, doing a pretty good job here. It's taken us a while to get him filled up. As you can imagine, he ordered a lot of fuel. All right, we are done here. Let's get on down the road, shall we? Well, we made it back to town. We're just in here waiting on traffic to us to uh, clear up so we can go around the proper way of getting into the co-op. But now we've got liming added to our schedule, so we're going to be uh, getting that all prepped to go so we can go help King out with his lime. He's got to let us know what fields he wants us to hit yet, but we have reserved the day for this task. So let's just pull on into the co-op down here and we'll find out. Oh, and as we pull in, he pulls out. Well, I guess, uh, I guess we won't be finding out right away, but he's got a seat at the least. We're just playing merry-go-round out here. He pulls in, I pull out, he pulls out, I pull in. I almost run over a fuel tanker. You know how it is. But we're done with the fuel for the day, so we'll back it on over here and park it and we'll get on to the next task all right up next we need to prep a uh, couple lime spreaders here so we're gonna pull out the old case mx 180 to do the job fire up there we go and let's go over and uh, get those prepped and ready to go here so i know that I am going to want to run the big one because lime goes fast and this is going to be very, very much needed. So we all got it hooked up there, ready to roll. Now I know he said he's going to be back on his way. I need to figure out if he wants a big one or a little one for rent. He might as well just take the big one. They're like a $50 difference in the rental cost. We're going to pull right back here and find our lime station, which should be the one in the middle. And we've got our tarp opened up and we'll get this all loaded up. It's so right on underneath, just like so. That ought to do. There we go. Got her filling up with lime. While that does that, I'm going to pull out my iPad here and update his account a little bit. So we've got to add the... Uh, seed tender on this as well units are going to be per day and it's going to be a 250 dollar a day deal and uh, we don't have how many days he's had it yet so we're not going to type that in quite yet i well we'll mark it for one since we know he's going to have it for today and then he's also going to need a lime spreader rental and we're going to mark that for a day for now and that rental is at 150 on the day and finally, he's going to have a custom lime order as well as lime itself here. We don't know how much custom lime, but we don't know how much lime quite yet. One full load of this is 
Well, it's about 8,000 liters here. $450. Whoa. So it's $450 per 2,000 liters. So we're going to call it two units. Eh, it'll be easier for us to do it by the trailer. It's going to come out to about 1,800 here. And that's just his first load there that we know of, at least. And he's going to have another load for himself. So there we go so far. We got him counted for two loads, and we don't have him for our time yet. And he's definitely going to end up with more loads than this. In fact, let me just, instead of duplicating that one, we will just mark that up to two. Perfect. Looking good so far. But this is all loaded up, so we got one loaded ready to go. And we'll pull this around to the front yard here. And we're not going to get the next one ready to go until he's here ready to use it. So that can sit right there, and uh, I think we are back to sitting around. So we got to wait for him to pick up the uh, lime spreader that he's going to rent from us as well as tell us what fields we are going to custom line for him. So until we have that information, not much we can do. Let's sit around and do a bit of other work here. All right, guys, we've got everything we can do done here today so far. We've got to wait around on King for the rest of the information. But next time, I think we will uh, go ahead and get out in the field, helping him out with that, hopefully. And I think we'll go up north and visit our old, well, our soon-to-be buddy at the uh, John Deere dealership. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come morning, or I'll be gone.